All right, President Biden uh, is in uh, England today. So he meets with uh, the prime minister over there and uh, Sunak. Sunak doesn't want the cluster bombs going from the USA to, uh, to Ukraine. I don't either. I don't think that's a wise move at this point in history. And then uh, Prince Charles III, by the way, uh, Biden meets with him over climate change. Prince Charles III is a big climate change guy. So uh, he had two meetings. Then he's uh, off to Lithuania. You know where Lithuania is? One of the Baltic states, okay, right adjacent to Russia. And uh, NATO is meeting for the next three days there. And that's a spit in the eye to Vladimir Putin. That's basically right up against Putin's curtain. Now, Putin has been degraded, and I'm going to get into that in a moment. So um, Biden's over there, and, and the USA is the leader of NATO because we pay most of the freight. And in the Ukraine war, most of the stuff's coming from us. Now, NATO is united in trying to downgrade Putin. No dissent. The weakest member is Germany. And the Germans are always looking out for themselves rather than the world. Always. Always have, always will. That's a country that has caused so much mayhem uh, in this world. And now they're supposedly on the side of the good guys, but they're always annoying, to say the least. So anyway, Biden's over there and NATO uh, will come out with, you know, we're not going to give up. We're going to rearm uh, uh, Ukraine, we're in for uh, $40 billion, the taxpayers, the USA, that we're in for $40 billion uh, going to Ukraine. Now, clusters, no. And the reason is that cluster bombs kill civilians. And the Ukrainian military can't control them. So you don't give the technology to people who can't control it. No, I wouldn't give them. Tanks, yes. Defensive weapons, big heavy weapons, yes. So you don't want to be blowing up civilians inside Russia because that then rallies the people to Putin's cause. Now, the overall strategy of degrading Putin is working, and it was a good strategy from the very beginning. It's worth the 40 billion. Those pinheads who go on and start to, you know, cut it up. You're just insane. Imagine if Putin had conquered Ukraine in two weeks and just cut through. And now all of Ukraine to the north, Belarus, uh, Georgia, all of that back under the tent of Russia. Okay, they, they got their freedom when the Soviet Union dissolved. Now they're back. Putin's power would be 10 times more than it is now. Chinese would have seen it. They said, okay, Putin got Ukraine, we'll take Taiwan. That's what would have happened. No doubt. So it drives me crazy. There isn't many, there aren't many of them on television with spouting this gibberish. Yeah, is Ukraine a corrupt country? Yeah, it is, okay? But it's fighting our primary enemy, Putin. So, you know, the enemy, the friend, what is it? The enemy of the enemy is your friend. The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year's stocks dropped a whopping 20%. 2023 could be worse. You are right to be worried. So call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Since I've been a client and spokesperson, the price of gold has appreciated more than 35%. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers and have the highest rating in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Please tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201. That's 866-501-5201 or text BILL to 65532. Again, that's 866-501-5201 or text BILL to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode, 
anytime on BillOReilly.com. Please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.